Hello, this is Maria Riccelli from BNC Software and welcome to the auto video series for suicide capacity optimization. In this video, I will explain you the capacity views transformation we have included in 10.7 version of TrueSci Capacity Optimization with the new TrueSci UR experience. Capacity view transformation in TrueSci Capacity Optimization 10.7 deals with uh, um, the uh, action that we did in migrating uh, our uh, out-of-the-box views in the, the new uh, modern web-based UI, which is represented by the TrueSci console UI. So in 10.5, we already migrated the capacity pool view. Now we have in total uh, 11 out-of-the-box views, infrastructure views uh, available in the TrueSci console UI. Customer value with uh, the capacity view transformation is uh, for sure to improve the user experience. So specific customers, uh, service owner or technology owners, uh, now gets easier access to capacity information also on their mobile devices because uh, um, the TrueSight Console UI is uh, mobile compatible, in particular stable compatible, and allows them to get access to this information directly from their tablets. So I'm now in the TrueSight True Console UI. Uh, and as you know, in 10.5, the capacity pool view was already available in the TrueSight Console UI. In addition to capacity pool view, we have added the number of out-of-the-box views available in this cool and cooler and uh, uh, modern UI. So visualization views for IX, Hyper-V, KVM, Solaris, and Vsphere and Xen server are available here in addition to Hadoop network storage and then also the abilities to set up custom views that uh, we will see in a in a next session. Let me uh, quickly navigate some of those views to let you understand the improvements that have been uh, in included in the 10.7 release. Uh, for from capacity uh, user, we were able to drill down on specific pools. And we were able also to drill down on infrastructure views. So if you wanted to investigate for example, a continued element for a specific pool, you can certainly drill down on them. And now this takes you to the specific infrastructure views, which is available into the TrueSci uh, console UI. And as you can see here, you have many different information displayed for each system. So it now allows you to, to see the different tags associated to the system, to see uh, also related information related, uh, associated to the system. As you can see here, the, uh, the page looks much more uh, easier to, to read the information are structured in a clear mode. And you can also drill down a specific page, both from, from the summary uh, here. So for example, let's say that I wanted to drill down on the uh, user profile. Let me go, for example, for uh, memory profile here. This is uh, the Explorer pages, for example, and it's showing me different information related to memory, such as memory utilization, real memory, etc. This is just an example of transformation for infrastructure capacity views into TrueSci console UI. Thanks, and we look forward to see you on the next how-to video.